all right guys welcome to another beer review and i don't know what's going on with her but i kind of like it i sort of look like a very shit anime character anyway i got another review for you obviously and today we're going back over to untitled art out of wisconsin and we're having a look at a collaboration with the powerhouse that is crooked stave and this is a can of the coconut cream pie blonde stout said that completely wrong coconut cream pie blonde stout cream pie anyway uh, that's a terrible pointless joke so yeah this is a a blonde stout clocking in at 10 percent abv which contains lactose and uh, recording this after doing a little bit of uh, overtime and descending back into heaven that way I need to get this lighting sorted i'm really really doing them we'll go with here so you can see me a little bit better um so yeah done a little bit of overtime time at work pants are off got chicken popcorn cooking in the the oven because um i'm an immature 14 year old apparently so um plus chicken popcorn is love chicken popcorn is life anyway so a coconut cream pie blonde stout now uh joe if you're watching this mr beer patrol uh you can also take your pants off while you watch this review because uh you may like this one, or you may have already drank it, because I know you've already had a few Untitled Art beers. But um, yeah, had some really interesting stuff from Untitled Art. Uh, the most recent one I had was a double dry hopped uh, juicy IPA, uh, which they did with microphone, which was, it was all right. Um, I think in this day and age, well, it's only been the past couple of years, let's be honest, uh, where the, the hazy, you know, IPAs have come into play. But that being said, that was more of like a, it had West Coast vibes about it. But anyway, going completely off track. Um, I had some really intriguing beers from Untitled Art. And uh, all of them have come from the Mikula Beer Club box. So if you're interested, the referral link is always in these reviews. Anyway, so nice, beautiful artwork on this. And this one usually says who does the artwork. Uh, I'm not too sure. Is it the same person who did the other one? Uh, the can that I've thrown away so I can't even reference them but yeah beautiful beautiful artwork on this and the artwork goes throughout all of the beers from Untitled Art so yeah Blonde Stouts not my thing really um, I just find them quite pointless do you know what I mean but this with the ad added uh, flavours in there I'm looking forward to seeing what this turns out like and I can't remember uh, what the sort of mini review was when uh, Frank and I always forget the is it Elias uh, when they were doing the uh, unboxing video for the Mikla Beer Club box for this month. But uh, I've heard it's quite interesting, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it is. So in the glass, it actually looks more like a, a hazy IPA uh, with a little bit of amber hue to it. I don't necessarily think when you get a blonde stout, it's supposed to be like a, a stout for the most part. I think stout it. This is where my uninformed beer knowledge comes into play. I think it just harkens back to when the term stout was used for strong. Um, so, yeah, but then again, you do get some blonde stouts that have those stout-like roasty characters just with a little bit of an edge to them. So I'm really intrigued to see how this plays out. But yeah, it looks like a West Coast IPA to me personally. Lovely looking beer when you look at it, uh, when I'm looking at it through the... Uh, the front facing camera it's a little bit darker and murkier in person so the beer poured about one figure's worth of a very subtle beige head looks lovely in the glass let's see what we get on the nose well you definitely get the coconut it literally smells like a bounty bar which is something i've not had for a while and i really really like bounty bars Yeah, I'd say you are getting... I see where they're coming from on the nose with um, a coconut cream pie. Because you're all getting like that. The, the vanilla, the, the sort of like vanilla character from the lactose gives it that sort of like sweet uh, pastry aroma. I'm trying to find the line though. And my nose is making weird noises. So maybe it comes out more in the flavour. I don't know, but lovely coconut aroma on this. It's got like um, 
a slight synthetic aroma, but nothing too sweet or in your face. But it is the most domineering aroma, and it smells pretty damn nice. Not chilled this down at all. I thought I'd just drink it at room temperature, see what it's like. So uh, let's do that. Cheers. And yeah, that, that lime character, or lemon. I keep forgetting, is it lemon or a lime? Hang on. Coconut cream pie blonde out. There's not even a mention of lemon or lime. Where the fuck did I get that from? But um, there is a citrusy element to it. That might be the, the power of persuasion or whatever it's called. Because I thought that there was lemon in this beer. But I am, it's got like a lemon meringue pie character, but you're definitely getting that coconut. It's not as um, strong on the flavour as it is on the nose, which is good, because then it would probably be a little bit too rich. There's definitely a sweet pastry character coming through. And like almost a, a subtle mallow character. Do you know what? I'm not too sure if they brewed this beer with the intention of making a coconut cream pie. Cream pie. Love that word. Um, but it definitely fits the beer to a T. It really, really does. It's almost like if you had a, a white chocolate bounty. Mm, that's lovely. The lactose gives it a nice sort of smoothness. It's not a heavy beer. It's not like a, a gluggy sludge fest or anything like that. There's a nice crispness. Oof, excuse me. I am getting a very subtle, almost wit beer like um, lemon citrus character. But there is a dark malt flavour mixed in with that lovely biscuity pastry like malt character. Yeah, it's, it's delivering. And, um, I mean, I knew I was going to enjoy this just because of how bonkers it sounds. But it's bloody delivered. It really, really has. And that's two beers from Crooked Stave that I've had recently, which have been pretty damn good. Uh, the other one that I had recently was this um, Adam beer that they did, which I think I've already shown in, like, a couple of other reviews since actually shooting the review. Which, by the way, goes wonderfully well with salt and vinegar crisps. And foam bubbles came out my mouth then because I'm a pig. I think the only thing I would say is if you were to drink this a bit too fast, which why would you? Um, that coconut flavour could get maybe a little bit overwhelming. But just sitting back and supping it, it's tasting lovely at room temperature. It really, really is. You might get some other characteristics coming through. Um, if you did chill it down a bit, maybe it would have a bit more of like a, a pronounced creaminess. Because I do find that with a lot of um, sort of adjunct riddled uh, imperial like dark stouts is when you chill them down, not too much of course, they have that sort of like milkiness or creaminess, which you don't usually get on a, a room temperature version. Although you do sacrifice some of those robust flavours. But that being said, I mean, I had um, yellow belly on tap. And that was chilled down, and that was tasting magical. It really, really was. But yeah, this beer. Um, I'm still not completely sold on blonde stouts, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's that sort of niggledy thing in the back of my head. But am I going to hold it against this beer? Hell no, this is tasting gorgeous. It really, really is. Mm. And now it's all in the glass, and it's sort of aerated slightly. Yeah, I'm just so happy with how that coconut flavour comes across. Because like I said, on the nose, it's not abrasive, but it's really in your face. But when you do take a sip, yeah, it's got that sort of essence flavour to it, but it has genuine coconut flavour as well. And coconut's a risky thing to put in a beer when you want to try and make it actually taste like genuine coconut. And I found that with a lot of beers that have added fruits where... They might put like proper citrus carrots or blueberries or whatever, 
But if you put too much in, sometimes you get that sort of um, synthetic-like character. But that's not really coming through on this one. Lovely body, though. Really, really has. Not too heavy, not too light. Very gentle carbonation adds to that smoothness. Yeah, I'm going to really enjoy drinking the rest of that. Don't think it's going to really complement chicken popcorn, but oh well. Such is life. But would I have this again? Hell yeah. I'd, I'd definitely have a couple of cans of this. But I wouldn't want to drink them all within like a, a short amount of time because it would get a little bit too rich. But it's not too sweet. But you get the characters that are in there. And it's one of those examples where it lives up to what it's advertising. And uh, yeah, Untitled Art are becoming quite a gem for me. Um, I don't think out of the three or four beers up to this point that I've had from them, that they've been disappointed. They've all had something unique, but still have you know those characters that you like in the styles that they're trying to portray. And of course, Crooked Stave, a brewery that we're seeing a little bit more of here in the UK. Uh, Untitled Art, I've not really seen uh, any UK distributors. I could be wrong. I hope I am, so I can pick some more beers up. But um, yeah, that's what... And um, this is going to sound like pure shill scripted mode. I think this is why I've continued to, to get the Nicola Beer Club box. Because I get to try beers from breweries like this that I wouldn't really have the opportunity to uh, without either forking out over the odds or having to, to trade. But this is lovely. It really, really is. Mm, cream pie. Anyway, so uh, if you've tried this, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Are you a fan of either brewery? If so, let me know some of your uh, favourite beers. Brewdog are starting to stock a few more Crooked Stave beers, so I might have to pick some up next time I'm uh, uh, near one. And uh, yeah, in terms of a rating then, uh, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Um, it's not 100% my thing, um, but what is that is delivering. And I Actually, I say 8.5 out of 10, but I don't know what I would personally do to this beer to actually get it up to a 10. I don't know. So I'm basically talking utter shite. But that's why you continue to uh, watch and subscribe. Anyway, 8.5 out of 10. Check out the breweries involved. If uh, any of my friends and fellow beer tubes have reviewed it, I'll hopefully remember to put their links down below. I've become really lazy on YouTube, as most people have probably known for a while. So, yeah, any thoughts, opinions, always welcome. And, uh, yeah, you all take care. And I uh, hope you're drinking along with this review. And I hope you drank something really nice. Anyway, I've got food that might be almost slightly overcooked. But I've still got to get the thumbnail because I'm a pretentious twat. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, you all take care. Cheers.